didn't see that happening. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to show you a new laser engraver and some of the cool things we're doing with it. We had a very special day here around the SSL family homestead. My oldest daughter got married right here in our house. And so I want to use this laser engraver to make a few a little special keepsakes for them that will memorialize their, their wedding day. And in order to do that, we will need a laser engraver. So I'm going to show you this new, it's a new shop edition. This is a more powerful laser engraver than I have had in the past. It can do quite a bit more cutting, which is something that I'm excited about. So I have been doing a little bit of upgrading in the shop and cleaning, and I brought my old computer out here. So I have this old tower that I built, gosh, 20 years ago. It's out of date now. <laughs> so it'll be used to run laser engravers and 3D printers and other things out here. And we have the new laser engraver. It is an enclosed laser engraver, so I could have it out in the shop. This is the, the first time I've been able to do this because the dust and stuff will, will generally keep out of here with the cover. This is from a company called Artur. This is their R2. This is their newest, kind of latest and greatest model. I have actually worked with this company in the past. I've had a uh, one of their older, uh, less powerful models, and this one is the newest, and it is uh, it is pretty sweet. This is actually hooked up to my computer so that I can uh, use the software on the computer, which is a little bit more in-depth than the software that, that they have on the app. There is actually an app for this. So this is all enclosed. It actually does have a camera inside of it that is used to calibrate. It has a calibration uh, mode that you can put this uh, bottom in there, and it uses to calibrate where the laser is in the system. Right now I have it in uh, kind of a cutting mode, so it has these little spacers that you put underneath your, your piece of uh, your material, and so it keeps it up off the bottom, and then the laser cuts through. And then this little piece of plastic, or it's this little piece of uh, film here is actually a protectant, so you don't burn the bottom of your laser engraver. This is a replaceable, consumable uh, piece. This is the 10 watt laser module. It can cut through a quarter inch up to quarter inch plywood, which is, uh, which is pretty impressive actually. And this also has a module that actually hooks up to this little um, little air pump. So this air pump has tubing that goes all the way in to the laser module itself, and that helps with cutting with smoke. It kind of blows it blows it out of the area, keeps it cool, keeps fire from starting. It actually can catch the material on fire. So this uh, keeps that from happening, and then all the exhaust gets sucked out the back, and then it actually comes with this exhaust tube. So down the road, uh, I had thought about actually setting this up closer to the wall and actually drilling an exhaust um, fan out the wall. I've wanted to do that in the past because if you're cutting plastic, acrylic, engraving metal or any covered, you know, any kind of coatings, that, that's a toxic gas you want to get out. Um, and even when you're engraving wood, I mean, it produces a, a quite a smell. And so you want to exhaust that out uh, as best as possible. The cool thing about this is that it does have a lot more functionality from the unit. The old units you had, it didn't have a screen on it. You had to use it from your computer only. And it had a little memory card or USB slot you would put your projects on or you'd hook it to a computer directly. So I've been messing with a bunch of different stuff. So they sent me a sample pack of a bunch of different materials that uh, I've been able to mess with. So this is like an eighth inch plywood and it cuts this with ease. So I did a little test, a little cutout of a tractor. Uh, I, there's a lot of possibilities for this. You could use this as templates in the wood shop to make larger things. You could actually have it laser cut out entire projects out of eighth inch or quarter inch plywood that you could put together. I went to chat GPT and I asked it to create me a tractor uh, outline in, uh, in a, without a background in a PNG file format. And so it, ChatGPT will just do that for you and then you can download it. And then once I had the picture, I did throw it in an editor to make a few adjustments. And I actually made a mistake here because you have to make sure that there's, um, that the wood is all attached together in the middle. Otherwise what happens is you end up with parts that fall off <laughs> like this. So I should have edited this a little bit differently uh, so that this was connected here. Uh, you're, this is showing the little ladder going up to the cab, but you do things like this is really neat. And this is, they, they sent me a few pieces, so I've been practicing. I had a, a couple mistakes and some learning here. But you can also laser engrave uh, or cut uh, leather. So you can do both. You can cut on leather and you can laser engrave different uh, things on there. It also sends you a guide. So there's two main software programs you can use on your computer. One's called Lightburn, the other one's called Laser, I call it Laser Gerbil. 
And this basically, this gives you all of your cutting settings. You can get this digitally, of course, too, but I'll just keep this in the shop. So this gives you all your laser engraving settings for that program for all different types of materials. There's also, you can etch onto a plastic material. So like you can make like business cards and things like that on this type of plastic, plywoods, basswoods, all kinds of pine, different, different woods like that. There's also different kinds of types of acrylic. You can make little acrylic keychains and things like that. So there's tons of different things you can do. You can get stuff like this, little keychain things. These are metal. Uh, on Amazon, you can get 50 packs of them or Oriental Trading or places like that. And uh, you can laser engrave these for little gifts, uh, Christmas gifts, pet tags, get your little dog bone tags. I've seen people do things like using uh, wood like this to cut out little crosses with a Bible verse in it, or uh, they have like uh, little sanded wood discs that you can laser engrave things on. You can make wooden coasters for drinks. There's all kinds of things you can do with this, obviously. So when I moved into this house, in the back of the garage was this long piece of pine just sitting back there. And it's been sitting there for five years. And so I just dug this out. What I'm gonna do is cut this into some discs and I'm gonna experiment with some laser engraving with these discs. So I need to get this on my chop saw <laughs> and uh, cut it into a smaller section and then make a bunch of discs out of it. So let's get that done first and then we'll, I'll show you what we're uh, engraving today. Well, that's not gonna work. Saw blade's not deep, deep enough and that's dangerous. Table saw ain't gonna work and I ain't cutting all these by hand, so we got something different to try here. I got some new base camp dust masks. We'll try, cause we're getting some power tools out. The hardest part is getting the item perfectly framed in. Once it's framed in, so this is just running a frame test right now, making sure that it's exactly where we want it to be. It is. And so now we're going to go ahead and start. All right, so in our test, we have learned a few things and we're ready to put our final piece in here now. And first I'm gonna adjust the new height. Okay, that looks pretty cool. Uh, it's not it's not great how the some of the letters lined up with the crack there, but I get the point. It's still uh, still pretty neat. So now if I wanted to, I can batch process these and just pop the next one in and just keep making more of these, which I may actually do another one and put the crack at the bottom.
Well, we've been playing around and making lots of uh, little things and lots of mistakes, but definitely a couple things that I have learned. The light burn software you have to pay for is much, much, much better than the laser gerbil, uh, the free software. So this works really well. These uh, turned out pretty good. I'm gonna make a, a few more of these. We'll sand it down a little bit more. You do get a little bit of overburn. You can see as the laser moves back and forth this way, uh, you get a little bit of, a, uh, I guess you do a little char on the edges. And that can be sanded down. And so I'll sand this down a little bit further to kind of get that to a cleaner edge. So my daughter Eva and her new husband Tyler just got married last week. And so these will be for them. I was also experimenting with a few different uh, stands. I was going to cut out some picture stands. And uh, I was having some difficulty with the settings for this hard hardboard. I don't know. It, it wasn't cutting through well. And I didn't have it set up on enough passes. And I wrecked both of these pieces. And so I don't have another piece to do it. But I had tried a couple different uh, options. And it wasn't burning through. So I just need to make some adjustments in the software to uh, run probably more passes. It's only running one pass here. I could probably run uh, three or four on this uh, this this board. This wood's a little thicker, a little harder to burn through than even the plywood is. I also made this, which is pretty cool. So this is a black acrylic. I tried to put a, a picture on the back, and uh, it just you have to mess with the contrast and the outlines and different color materials. This was a, a wedding picture, and that didn't uh, didn't turn out great on the black acrylic. So I'm trying it on a clear acrylic to see how that'll work. But on the other side, I made the the SSL Family Dad YouTube channel into a QR code. So if you see people scan that, you uh, will take you right to the YouTube channel. So these are kind of neat, and this would be a, a good combination to put something like this onto the uh, edge of a business card that has some information text here. Uh, and these would be cool little wood wood uh, business cards to hand out. I think that'd be fun. So I'm going to shrink that down and uh, put it on one of these business cards vertically. We'll see how that works. It actually worked really good, except for I was off center with my lineup. That is uh, that turned out really good on this later wood. That is neat. As the weather turns yucky here in Michigan, uh, as we head into October and November, I will be spending a lot more time in this shop, uh, cleaning, organizing, and doing a whole bunch of little projects. This is gonna play a huge part in that, so stay tuned for future videos. We have a special forces cutting board on the on the list to build for a friend of mine. We're using the laser engraver for that, and uh, quite a few other projects as well. Check out the Ortur R2. It is uh, a very new product. I don't even know if it's been released, but I think you can pre-order now when this video comes out. I'll put a link in the description to any discount codes, any other relevant information that you'll need. And I need your ideas, so if you'll put those down in the comments, what are some cool things that I could do with the laser engraver slash cutter that would be uh, that would be fun. Maybe something for my grandson, maybe some toys that you could cut out pieces for and build or, uh, or other things. So let me know what you guys think because I'd love to get some ideas and get this thing fired up and get it in use. Thanks for hanging out today and we'll see you next time.